Hey everyone, it's Michael with Regalia Belaterra. I'm right here in front of one of our currently vacant two bedroom, two bath B5G floor plans. This is 1198 square feet. It is in building 10, apartment 1007. Currently vacant and ready for move in. There is a reduced rate on this apartment as there is for a few other of our exclusive floor plans right now for moving in by February 15th. If you wanted to lease this apartment, you can anytime but there is a quick little pricing update where we have this apartment leasing at $18.59 and there is a one-time concession offered if you can move in soon. So I'll take you through this beautiful two bedroom, two bath B5G floor plan. You have this long entryway right into your garage. You will most likely be entering in through your garage daily. So this single bar garage is a standard garage. It can fit a large pickup truck, just like the one you saw drive by. It's 10 and a half feet wide. Doorway is nine foot wide, seven foot two clearance and 22 foot from the edge of the door here to the edge of concrete in front of us. I would say you have a little bit of space for storage here. This particular apartment actually has extended storage. Um, so a little lucky there, most of these B5s have storage in a different part of the garage. So I like that this one is kind of set at the front of a garage. You do have a power hook up here and your same key fob system will open this garage. You can also program it to your vehicle. Up the stairs here, right next to your alarm intrusion system panel. If you haven't seen that mentioned in previous videos, it's actually in every single apartment, totally optional if you want it armed. Uh, most people arm theirs as a deterrent. But if you want to pay for that service, there are many to choose from. We'll let you know what we recommend. Washer and dryer for this apartment is right off the entry. Does share a space with your water here, but they are full size and GE set. Right into this B5G, you have your dining room space right off your island. Just like in the B4, having something against the wall is great if you need to bring it out when necessary, but having it perfectly centered here in front of the island I think works best. You have a built-in desk. This desk is a beautiful space. If I can show you the closet here. You have two hall closets for this two bedroom. One is here and one is adjacent from where we're at now. Same stainless steel appliances, side-by-side -side fridge and freezer. You have an awesome uh, pantry space here with fitted shelving. This one's a little bit larger than what you saw in the B4. And your countertops on the side are beautiful, laid with our dark brown or kind of a chocolate colored cabinetry. You have a beautiful glass backsplash that really shines with those undermounted lights, allowing you to be able to cook, clean, or just hang out in a very well lit space. Um, as far as the living room space here, it is going to favor a corner couch for most people's lifestyles. You could flip it to either wall. That is why you see cable connections on either wall right here. And they are centered, so you really have a choice. Remember again, a lot of people like to have a view of their TV from where they cook. So that is going to really favor this side for your TV. As far as the patio space here, we'll check that out now. I love this patio. It has a little nook kind of off to the corner. I always had an idea if I lease this apartment, I put a little comfy chair there, another one right next to it, and then maybe a little table right in front right here. So you can kind of look out to the south. So this is south facing. It is Houston, so you see some rain clouds in the back. But you kind of have this tree line off in the distance and really an un unobstructed view, allowing in a lot of natural sunlight. This apartment won't really have many front facing windows. So if you're not a fan of that, really uh, intense natural sunlight, your living room space will be able to, you know, counter some of that. Your bedrooms, however, will be very well lit no matter the time of day. Outside storage is right here, of course, and it's offered in almost every single floor plan. You do have power out here, and let me know if you have any questions about customizing your patio, making the space yours. We do allow for, you know, setting it up how you feel fit. I'll show you the secondary bedroom first but into the bathroom before so. So you have a linen cabinet here, garden soaking tub and rainfall shower head above. 
love with that curved shower rod. Medicine cabinet, can't forget it. And a single vanity with front facing lighting and a large frame mirror to match. So for a secondary bedroom, you always have that guest connection, but a connection through your bedroom. This bedroom is gonna be a little bit more symmetrical than the other one, but does come out to 10 and a half by 12 as well. So king size bed can fit. This is a shorter wall, so it's 10 foot, but your bed will be about six. So you'll have about a foot and a half on each side, depending on your framing you choose. So I love that this closet has cubby storage in the center and even rack spacing on both sides. Perfect for that roommate setup or whomever is using this space to have their clothes categorized, right? Oh, I love this island here. Another coat closet, hall closet. In Texas, we don't really call it a coat closet. Valet trash bin is in here, just stowed away for the moment. We do have valet trash offered. And if you're curious, those fees will be about $45 for all trash, but no other fees besides your pest control at $3. And then also your uh, water and wastewater usage. This bedroom here, the primary bedroom is large at 13 by 12. So you can do a lot with this space, definitely favoring a king size bed to make it feel uh, comfortable. Uh, you have, again, south facing view. So this bedroom will on a sunny day have quite a bit of lighting in here. I'm sorry for the dim lighting. It's Houston for you, um, but you're gonna love the view, I promise. So awesome. This is our largest bathroom end to end. So the B5, B3, any of those will have this extended bathroom vanity, which means if you can see here, more cabinets on either side and drawers on either side. So you won't have to fight over much space if it becomes a space for you and your partner or whoever you're sharing this apartment with. You have a linen closet right here. It's kind of hidden, so I'll awkwardly show you, but it's a nice little space right here. And then you have this combination tub and shower. So this is actually what brings people into this apartment. It actually was what almost made me decide to lease this apartment. We have 24 plans, so it's a very tough decision for some people like me, but you have both the shower and the tub space here. Uh, this is only a tub, so there is no um, shower head in here. So it would be using either space for whatever use you need. Um, right into your closet, this closet is very similar to what you just saw in the before, if you saw that video. And you have about 18 and a half foot of rack space. Kind of have this little corner here set aside and the one I'm standing in, or any dressers or shoe racks or any kind of organization vanities that you might have in your home. This beautiful apartment um, is available now. Exclusive specials through the weekend and into next week. If you're interested, please call us at 832-464-7000. You can also inquire on our website at regaliabellaterra.com or email us at regaliabellaterra at rpmliving.com. Again, I'm Michael, the community manager here at Regalia Bilaterra. Please reach out to any of our team. We'll be happy to answer any of your questions, concerns, or show you more of these video highlights like you've seen today. Thank you.